Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm gonna to be doing this look for you, so I hope you guys enjoy. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting off using NYX's eyeshadow in the shade Butterscotch, and I'm gonna be using this as my transition shade for today. So I'm applying this onto the upper crease using a nice fluffy brush. Next, I'm going into the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette, and I'm taking the shade Morocco and applying this onto the crease. And I'm using a slightly smaller brush this time just to kind of get some more like accuracy with where the color is supposed to be. But just make sure you go ahead and blend those colors out really, really well. And if you need to, go back in with that last brush that you used to apply your yellow shade and just blend out any harsh lines. Next, I'm going into the Masquerade palette from Juvia's Place, and I'm taking the shade Zobo. I'm gonna place this onto the crease as well, just to kind of start adding some extra color. And I'm using an even smaller brush for this step, so as the colors get darker, I like to use even even smaller brushes to get more precision. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and buff this into the crease and blend out any harsh lines. Then to really deepen up the look, I'm gonna go ahead and use Jezebel from the Newsbean 2 palette and place this onto the crease as well. To cut my crease for today, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk. I'm going to apply some onto the crease look up just to kind of create that guide there and then follow that line so that way I get a nice perfect cut crease. I'm not taking this wing all the way out. I'm kind of stopping like towards the outer corner just so it kind of floats a little bit. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> but then I'm just gonna go back in with that shade Jezebel and Zobo just to blend out the outer corners once I'm done cutting my crease. So now it's time to apply our pigment. I'm gonna be using this Alexa Persico pigment in the shade Serendipity. It's like almost like a goldy, like pinky type of color. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's really, really cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this onto the lid just to kind of create like that shimmery type of look on the lid there. So I'm gonna pause with the eyes for a second and move on to the skin. I'm gonna be using Jouer's primer. Um, this is their, I think it's their, their anti-aging, like hydrating primer or something. And I'm just gonna be applying that onto the skin to prep my skin from my foundation. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also use their Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation in the shades Walnut and Nutmeg. The product is really lightweight as well, so it doesn't feel like I'm wearing like a whole lot of makeup, but I still get that nice coverage that I'm looking for. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Concealers for today, and this is the shade Warm Honey. I'm gonna apply this onto the under eye area, forehead, all the typical areas that I apply my concealer to highlight, and then to kind of brighten up certain areas, I'm gonna go in with the yellow corrector from LA Girl and apply that. Then I'm just blending everything out using a small Real Technique sponge. Once all of that is blended, I'm going in with my RCMA No Color Powder. I just picked this up recently and I really, really like this powder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set all of my concealer using that powder. Thank you. 
To contour, I'm using the Anastasia Powder Contour Kit. This is the one in tan to deep, and I'm using two of the shades in that palette just to kind of bronze and contour like my forehead and cheekbones and whatever. I picked this contouring kit up from TJ Maxx, and you guys, this contouring kit was $19, which is so crazy. I just went into TJ Maxx looking for like a little table mirror, the one that I'm using on camera right now. I went to the makeup section because everybody always says like TJ Maxx is like lit and the makeup makeup section and I found like a whole bunch of Anastasia stuff including this contouring kit so I definitely had to pick it up because it was on sale for like 19 bucks and I believe this contouring kit is usually like around $40 so I was like oh my gosh this is a steal so um yeah <laughs> Just had to throw that out there. But anyways, I did apply a little bit of blush using my e.l.f. blush palette. I just took two of the shades from that blush palette. I've been telling myself that I've been wanting to use more blush more often. Then I'm going to go ahead and finish up the eyes. So I just went ahead and applied Morocco and Jezebel on the lower lash line. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and start working on my lashes. So I'm doing my lash primer first from L'Oreal and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes while those dry. And for my lashes, I'm using the Fluttered by Row lashes in the style Layla. They sent me these in PR, so I've been dying to try them because they're so fluffy and I absolutely love the way these lashes look. They're so pretty. So I'm gonna apply those using my tweezers. Then after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of mascara onto the lower lashes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and work on my brows. I'm just gonna brush them out using a little spoolie before I apply some product. I'm using the Benefit Cabrow Cream Gel in the number five. And I'm using a, just like an angled brush like I usually use to fill in my brows. Nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the tail for the most part and then do like a little bit of feathering on the inner part of my brow. For my highlighter today, I'm using the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. I'm first gonna apply my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray just to make sure my skin is nice and kind of damp before I apply my highlighter. But I'm just gonna apply some on my cheekbones, forehead, inner corners, you know, the brow bone, nose, just to make sure everything is nice and glowy. So last but not least, I'm just gonna go ahead and start working on my lips. I'm starting off using the MAC Lip Liner in the shade Plum. Then for my lips, I'm going to be using the Alexa Persico Liquid Lipstick in the shade Tiramisu, then topping it off using their Velour Lip Gloss in the shade Candy Kiss. And that is pretty much it for this look, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Sound off in the comments for me and leave me your feedback, and hopefully I will see you guys in my next one.